For 10 years from the mid-1960s, Leeds United were a power in football, built by their manager Don Revy into one of the strongest clubs in England and Europe. A team of internationals, led by their fiery captain Billy Bremner, won the Football League Championship in 1969 and the FA Cup in 72. Leeds won the league again two years later and their supporters always believe they only lost the 75 European Cup final to German champions Bayern Munich due to highly controversial refereeing decisions. Leeds declined in the 1980s but recovered again to win the final Football League Championship in 1992, just before the Premier League was formed. As recently as 2001, a young, exciting Leeds team under manager David O'Leary was competing with Manchester United in the Premier League and reached the semi-finals of the Champions League, losing 3-0 on aggregate to Valencia. Yet within two years, the modern, rebuilt Leeds United suffered a profound collapse from which the club has still not recovered. The chairman, Peter Ridsdale, admitted that the club had borrowed heavily to buy star players and famously said of the drive for success, we lived the dream. Leeds had to sell the star players, including Rio Ferdinand, to Manchester United, but they were still relegated in 2004 with debts of more than £100 million. A group of local businessmen took over, settled much of the debts, sold more players and even the Elland Road Stadium and training ground to a landlord, but could not keep the club steady financially. In January 2005, they announced a takeover by Ken Bates, who two years earlier had sold Chelsea to the Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich and retired to the tax haven of Monaco. Bates said that he was representing a consortium of owners whose identity was never revealed through funds registered in offshore tax havens including the British Virgin Islands. But on his return to football, Bates too could not make the finances at Leeds work. Wages paid to players had increased throughout the 2000s but the huge gap in income, with the multi-millions of pounds paid for television rights in the Premier League, means that clubs in the Championship struggle to balance the books. Leeds were relegated to League One, the old third division, in 2007 for the first time in their history, and Bates cut Leeds' debts by putting the club into administration. They stayed in League One for three seasons before winning promotion in 2010, and the following year, Bates announced that he had bought the club from the unidentified investors. He then sold Leeds in 2012 to a bank based in Bahrain, Gulf Finance House, and they in turn sold in 2014 to an Italian-American businessman, Massimo Cellino. He had been convicted of tax fraud in Italy, making him unfit to be the owner or director of a football league club, but he returned after a year when his criminal conviction was considered spent in English law. Cellino has sacked six managers in just two years, but his abrasive methods have not reclaimed success on the pitch. So Leeds United, still a big city football club of great traditions, play on in the championship. In the Ellen Road ground that they do not own, their large body of long-suffering supporters, wondering how it all went so wrong, still singing of the glory days of old.